You are looking for connection, commitment, and a marriage that truly works. You want to be loved for who you are and to give your best to the one that you love. How can you make this happen? The answer lies in the next decision you make because it is in our moments of decision that our relationships are shaped. Your relationships will rise or fall to the level of the decisions that you make. My life's goal is to help you make smarter decisions so you can have better relationships. Join me at the Lagos Marriage Masterclass on November the 3rd. Whether you're single or you're married or you're somewhere in between, there is a session for you. Register today at www.marriagemasterclass.org. Early bird discounts will not last forever, so act now. You see, you thought that this was just another marriage seminar, but it isn't. It is so much more than that. Prepare to be surprised. Hello and welcome to Tommy Talks TV. I have one singular goal with this show and that is to help you make smarter decisions so you can have better relationships. If you're a regular follower of my show, I'd like to say a very big thank you for all your likes and your shares and your comments on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube, on Twitter. I really, really appreciate your support because you're helping us spread the message further faster. So thank you very much indeed. Now today I'm going to be taking one of your questions and it goes like this. God bless you for the wonderful teaching series which you have been sharing with us. My in-laws-to-be have started pressurizing me to wed their daughter despite knowing my financial situation. Please, I need your advice. Now, this is a very, very important question. You haven't actually said how long you've been in this relationship, but I do feel for you and I can understand what it must be like for you as a man to be in this situation where you're now under pressure to get married and you feel like, you know, financially you're not yet ready to take that leap. On the other hand, I, I can also understand, you know, the, the, the feelings of your in-laws to be because, you know, they're probably looking at a situation where they want to secure their daughter's future because the reality is this, a year is a long time, a very long time in a woman's life. So I think they just want to be sure that, you know, you're really serious about your intentions concerning their daughter so that, you know, maybe you don't just lead her along and, you know, spend a long time in a relationship with her and then she finds herself high and dry if you move on to someone else. So that's probably um, the thinking that's running their minds. So I would say to you in terms of what you should do in this situation, first of all you need to ask yourself what exactly are my plans concerning this relationship because you know even if your financial situation at the moment is not where you think it should be then you should certainly have some plans you know of exactly what it is you want to do you know and you know how you want to improve your financial situation and an idea of what your goals are and when you think you'll be in a position to actually get married that's the first thing be clear in your mind you know so that you don't just leave things and just keep hoping and you know thinking that well it might change it might change but actually taking concrete steps you know making plans and taking concrete steps and then trust God to help you to you know to improve your financial situation that's the first thing and then once you've established that in your mind I think you need to share this with your fiance and also with her family because the truth is that information dispels suspicion so if you share the information with them well I'm not yet at a position where I can get married but these are my plans you know and this is when I reasonably foresee that we can get married then that would you know change things because at the end of the day it's all about building their trust and helping them see See that you actually have good intentions for their daughter and you're making plans towards those intentions. So ultimately it's all about communication and sharing because the truth is if you don't say anything to them, you know, then their thoughts will be what exactly is he, you know, up to, you know, is he really serious with that daughter, that sort of thing. But I suggest that you really take time, share with her, plan with her, agree, you know, when exactly it is you want to get married and then share your plans with your in-laws so that they can feel more comfortable about the relationship. Well, I hope this has helped you. If this has helped you, then please leave me a message on Facebook, on Instagram, on YouTube or on Twitter. Let me also say that if you haven't joined my um, Tommy Talks Marriage Masterclass group on Facebook yet, please go ahead and join because I share things there that I don't share anywhere else, you know, and it's a really warm community. So I really encourage you to go onto Facebook and look for Tommy Talks Marriage Masterclass group, you know, and request to join and I will admit you into the group. Now, if you've got a question you would like me to answer, then head on over to tommytalks.com forward slash ask and I'll answer your question next time. See you next time. Bye bye.